Rochester animal shelters struggling with long-stay pets. When the pandemic began almost two years ago, local animal shelters saw an influx of adoptions and fosters because everyone was home. However, now that we have adapted to living in the pandemic, shelters aren't seeing the same enthusiasm they once saw. Lily is an eight-year-old puppy who has been at Lollipop Farm for eight months. She's one of 13 dogs who are considered long stays, meaning they've been at the shelter for a prolonged period of time. Director of Communications for Lollipop Farm, Ashley Zess said having a surplus of long-stay pups can create a bottleneck effect. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. When a pet is here for a long time, they're obviously taking up kennel space, but also, they need a little bit more enrichment, they need help from the staff. And that creates a little bit of a stop for the pets that need to come in and find that second chance as well, Zess said. Lollipop is always looking for families to adopt and foster animals, but right now it's especially important. Right now looking for adopters who are willing to open their hearts and homes and give a long stay, that second chance, that they're looking for, Zess said. Over at Animal Services for the City of Rochester, they are looking to implement a new type of resource to help keep shelter capacity numbers low and get lost pets back to their owners. Director of Animal Services for the City of Rochester, Chris Fitzgerald said it's about finding better solutions for everyone involved especially the animal. We're looking for community members who want to help out with getting lost pets home, Fitzgerald said. If someone finds a dog in their neighborhood, trying to knock on doors, put up flyers, assuming that the animals are friendly and healthy, they generally can be found and returned owners without ever having to step foot in a shelter. Currently, the city shelter has a total of 20 cats and 46 dogs. The shelter hasn't reached capacity yet, but Fitzgerald said the high intake is uncommon for this time of year. The pace of adoptions and and foster recruitment of homes to foster animals has really slowed, Fitzgerald said. So that's resulted in animals staying here longer, which then ends up sort of stressing us out in terms of capacity. Whether you're looking for a permanent furry friend or maybe just want to help out a local shelter by providing a temporary home, for the time being, the time to do it is now. Rochester Animal Services also takes in pets whose owners may be facing a crisis. If you're looking to help out but not permanently adopt, Fitzgerald said fostering for those animals is always a good option. Lollipop Farm accepts walk-in meat and greets on the weekdays but does ask you to schedule an appointment on Saturdays and Sundays.